Hello, I'm Nick Paradiso. I'm Conair's product manager for their conveying product line. I'm here today to talk about our newly released HRG vacuum pump. Our plastics industry is familiar with three different types of pump technologies. First, there would be regen style pumps, positive displacement pumps, and claw style positive displacement pumps. I show on the screen a chart of uh, CFM, cubic feet per minute at the pump inlet, with respect to inches of mercury of vacuum at the pump inlet. And you'll notice the three different types of pump technologies um, and how they differ to, to each other. Uh, on my left, I show Conair's positive displacement pump family. And this pump is capable of uh, about 12, maybe 13, 14 inches of mercury max. And this is gonna handle mainly the general purpose, um, uh, I guess most average applications that are out there. And quite frankly, for the plastics industry, this is what the industry is really standardized on because of different uh, conveying distances, different vacuum requirements. Uh, I'd say 75, maybe 80% of the pumps that are out there in the plastics industry, industry today would be like the positive displacement pump. Um, the LDP style, uh, for Conair, we call this LDP for long distance pump. It's a claw style positive displacement pump. That's shown over here on my right. And that technology is capable of extremely high vacuums. And this will be for when you convey uh, long distances up to 1,000, maybe 1,200 feet and uh, fairly high throughputs depending on certain uh, other variables if you have a bunch of elbows or whatever else is going to cause that pressure drop in your system to require much higher vacuum. I've just put up on the screen a new pump curve that now shows our HRG pump that Conair recently released to the market. Um, this is the pump that we have here. It's a triple stage regenerative pump. And what those triple stages allow us to do is uh, they allow us to achieve much higher vacuum than what a typical regen or positive displacement pump is, is, uh, is capable of. Now, with that being said, that also adjusts the way that how the pump, the pump operates and how the pump curve looks with respect to the full spectrum of vacuum that it's capable of. Notice how on the curve, the pump curve mirrors the positive displacement pump, but extends now further into that uh, vacuum capability all the way up to 18 inches of mercury, which can handle most, if not, I'd say 75, maybe 80% of most applications where we typically would have to use the LDP pump for, we now can use this HRG pump and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a perfect pump for those applications. Uh, as you can see on this, uh, this, this pump comparison chart that we have here, I show PD, I show LDP, and I also show our new HRG pump. Um, and see how the HRG pump now fits into this, this area where it's going to be for the longer distances. Again, the farther you convey, the more vacuum is required at that pump itself, the, the pump capability, to be able to keep that resin moving. But also notice on the throughput uh, side of the curve, which will be the y-axis, the HRG and the positive displacement pumps almost mirror themselves. But then once that positive displacement pump runs out of vacuum capability, right at that 12 inches of mercury, we try not to go above that because the pumps itself really are only capable of about 14 maximum. Uh, moving forward onto that, if we have more elbows into a system, if we have to go up and over a crane rail for our system design and we're stuck with that one certain route, uh, to egress those pipes throughout your facility, uh, or you just have to convey a much farther distance, this HRG pump is going to be able to handle that no problem. Now, the big kicker here is if uh, prior to Conair releasing the HRG pump, if the positive displacement pump could not handle the application, we had to jump all the way up to our LDP pump. It's just it, those were the only technologies that were available. Conair worked and, and, and released, uh, uh, released this HRG pump technology really to fit 75, maybe 80% 80, 80 of those applications. And notice what I show here, 15 to 30% cheaper from a capital expense standpoint compared to the LDP pump um, uh, with respect to capital cost of your system. Let's talk through the Conair HRG pump. Now we call it the HRG pump because it's a hybrid regenerative pump. Uh, we talked about the capabilities of the positive displacement all the way up through the LDP family. And now this hybrid is gonna fit right in between the two to fit that much needed gap like we talked about with respect to vacuum capability. The HRG pump comes with a safety filter standard. It also comes with a vacuum gauge for quick reference. And also notice how we have over here is a, uh, is a breaker valve. And this is the idle mode valve as we call it um, to allow the pump to break into idle when all of your receivers are satisfied on your vacuum line. The HRG is also capable of having a VFD on it. Uh, and that VFD is going to allow us not only to dial in certain CFMs based on certain applications if you're in dilute phase, but that VFD is also required when operating in wave conveying. The HRG pump, just like on the, on the pump curve like I showed between the PD, the LDP, and the HRG with respect to throughput and distance, it's also fit, it also fits a perfect um, window with respect to wave stream applications where 
90% of Wavestream applications now can use HRG pump uh, compared to previously having to go with the LDP pump family.